So you just landed an amazing guest for your podcast, but then you realize you have no idea what questions you're supposed to ask them, right? Well, don't worry because today I'm going to share with you 10 questions that you can ask anyone. I don't care what your podcast is about, what your topic is, or what you were discussing. You can ask these 10 questions to any guest on your podcast. So let's get right into it. Hi, Crystal here, and I want to share with you the 10 questions that you can ask any guest on your podcast, because I've seen this over and over again, where someone starts a brand new podcast, maybe they had a solo show for a while and then all of a sudden they want to bring on interviews or you decide from the very beginning that you want to have an interview podcast but then you get to thinking what am i supposed to ask these people maybe you have one or two really specific questions that you need to get answered for you for your audience and it's the thing that they are an expert in what about the rest of the time let's say you have 30, 45 minute window to fill with a conversation and you have no idea what other questions to ask them. Well, I'm gonna give you 10 that you can ask any guest. So let's get right into it. The first question is, what is your story? This can be asked in many different ways. You could say, tell us a little bit about yourself. Or I've heard on other podcasts where the host will say, for those listeners who don't know who you are, can you give us a snapshot of your story or share a little bit about your journey to where you are today? There are many different ways that you can say this, but the, the main thing is, what is your story? Tell us more about yourself. Question number two that you can ask is, how has your story, the journey, shaped who you are today? Did they have like some major life moment that happened and it changed their whole trajectory? Like there are a lot of other ways that you can ask this, but mainly you want to ask, how has your journey shaped you into the person that you are today as we are recording this podcast? The third question that you can ask any podcast guest is, can you tell me about a time when you had no idea what you were doing? I love this question so much. Or can you tell me about a huge mistake that you made? Because y'all, we're all human. We all mess up. We all make mistakes. And I guess it just makes me feel better knowing that everyone else makes a mistake. Like it just kind of reminds us all that we are not perfect and we are in our own journey, our own path. But it just makes you feel a little bit better knowing that someone else who may be an expert in something has made a mistake along the way as well. Actually, I would love it if you would comment below and tell all of us here, is there a time in your life when you had no idea what you were doing? I can actually think of several off the top of my head. I had no idea what I was doing when I became a mom. I had no idea what I was doing when I first started this business. Like there's just so many things. I'll share another one in the comments below, but comment below, when was the time in your life when you had no idea what you were doing? Okay, back to the questions. Okay, so this is an opportunity for you to throw in like, like a fill in the blank question. So, um, and I actually have a few of these, but the fourth question that you can ask any podcast guest is, how did you overcome insert obstacle? Like if you know that they overcame, you know, let's say being undereducated or they were poor, there was a major life struggle that they had how do they overcome this? I think this is such a great question because it really gives insight into who they are and it kind of takes the listener on a journey from where they were and where they are today. So I love this question to ask during a podcast interview. The fifth question that you can ask is, how long have you been a fill in the blank, insert their expertise or whatever they're an expert in, but Let's say you were interviewing a doctor. How long have you been a doctor? And maybe this will give you like a real short answer. Maybe they're gonna tell you five years or 20 years or I just got started. But that'll at least give you an idea and your audience as to 
maybe what the journey's been like for them. I know for me, if someone were to tell me that they were a doctor and they've been a doctor for five years, I could easily spin off into other questions that are related to, oh, really? Like, so you finished medical school not too long ago. How was that? Where did you go to medical school? How was your residency? What did you learn? What was your biggest takeaway? Like, there's just so many. I am like a question machine. <laughs> like, for sure, when it comes to podcasting, I can always come up with questions. But ask those questions about how long they have been doing what they are an expert in. I love this next question because it really gives insight into who someone is on a deeper level. But the sixth question is, if money weren't an option, what would you do every day? Y'all, I could think of so many things that I would do every day. Like if money weren't an option, I would be on a beach somewhere or I would be traveling. I would just be eating all the bread, right? Because apparently, I guess if you have money, you can just eat bread all day, every day. And then it just doesn't happen. I don't know. I don't know because money, it's like I'm not to that point where money isn't an option. You know, money is an option. But what would you do every day if money weren't an option? Put in the comments below. I want to know because I'm generally curious if uh, you would sit around and travel and eat bread because that apparently is what I want to do. Question number seven is, what advice would you give to your younger self? I actually ask almost all of my guests this question on my podcast because I'm generally curious. Like that is something that, like for me personally, what would I tell my younger self? I would say, you're gonna mess up. You're going to make mistakes just keep going. You are on the right track. So what would you tell your younger self if this was an opportunity that you were proposed with on a podcast? Someone asked you, what advice would you give to your younger self? What would you say? Put in the comments below because I really want to know and I can't wait to dive into all of your answers. Question number eight is what keeps you motivated to keep doing whatever it is that they do. You could insert their expertise or their passion or what they do for a living, their occupation, but what keeps you motivated to keep going? This really gives you insight into who they are, but also kind of tells you what kind of a motivated person they are. Maybe they are just motivated to be the way that they are because they don't know any different or maybe they really struggle in the motivation department and that could be really cool to expose that to your audience and let them know like hey if you struggle with this this person does too and they're on the same journey that you are they may just be a few steps ahead of you so that is an amazing question to ask any guest on your podcast question number nine is how do you plan for rest and self-care I think this is relevant no matter who you are. If you are a human being, you need rest and self-care. So ask your guests, how do they plan for it? Do they make it happen? Some may say, you know, this is something I do on the daily. This is something I only get to do once a year. And I think really understanding that insight kind of gives you a better perspective on who they are as a person. And the 10th question that you can ask any guest on your podcast is, what is your vision for yourself, your company, whatever it is that they do for the next five years? Where do you see yourself five years from now? Or you could say 10 years from now or 20 years from now, or where do you wanna be when you're a certain age? But just asking the simple question, where do you see yourself in five years? I think so many of these questions can really give you insight into who the person is and not just what they're an expert in. Of course, you wanna know that. You want them to deliver amazing, valuable information to your audience, but digging in a little bit deeper with some of these questions can really just provide a better conversation. It's gonna be a better interview for your podcast. So give a thumbs up if you found this video helpful and make sure that you check out this video all about setting up for a podcast interview. If you're brand new to podcast interviews, this walks you through step-by-step step, everything you need to know in order to get set up for your podcast interviews. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. That way you're notified anytime we put out a new podcasting video 
every single Friday. And I invite you to join us in the free five day Create Your Podcast Bootcamp where you're gonna learn everything about how to start, launch, and market your podcast. So remember, keep it up. We all have to start somewhere.